Hey, back in the bearded garage. We're gonna go continue a little bit with some a uh, little bit of woodworking. I want to get on um, onto the Porsche. I want to get on to doing a clutch. I want to get on to installing the lift. But uh, you know, I got a 14 year old in the house, and um, probably like a lot of people with teenagers, I got to do what they want to do. So in order to get him interested and get him outside, um, we actually got a couple other videos we started making. We're gonna restore um, about a hundred year old pipe vise. Um, and uh, we went over and picked up some nice plywood, and we're gonna build a racing simulator. So um, nothing better to get him interested in cars than actually building a big old video game that uh, lets him play with cars. So what we did yesterday is we actually spent the day, I didn't make any videos of it, but we spent the day setting up our planer on a nice new mobile stand. We set our uh, bandsaw and sander, as well as the disc sander on the side there. Uh, both of them are now on mobile stands, so we can move them around, use them a little bit better. We're going to be using those for uh, some uh, some woodworking as well. Uh, and then we went and we tested this little girl out. So this is something I uh, picked up and restored um, over the summer. And uh, really, this is my first time getting into her. So uh, today, all I did was uh, sample cuts: uh, cut, measure, adjust the um, adjust the fence, cut, measure, adjust the fence, over and over to uh, to get it to um, yeah, to get it to perfect so I can actually start making some stuff. So, um, my boy and I came up with a couple of designs for a racing simulator. And our goal was to try to save as much plywood as possible. And I have to say, he had a hell of a lot of fun. So what we're going to try doing here, I'm going to show some pictures. So, uh, so, he drew this one here. But what we're going to do is build a racing simulator. It's going to be all encased. It looks kind of like this guy here. It's going to have a seat in it. Um, it's going to be 30 inches wide, 75 inches long. Um, it's going to have pedals and, and everything else. Uh, I'm sorry, the very front will actually have a computer. Uh, so you see here, it'll be a little box up front. All right, so we have uh, two cut sheets, we believe. We'll be able to do it in two sheets of plywood. So uh, these are four by eight sheets, uh, cutlass at the top, uh, two feet, 30 inches, uh, 24 inches, I guess same as two feet. Um, so this is, will be the computer box. Uh, this will be uh, sectioned off for the for the uh, the front and the, um, the the front of it, right in front of that. Um, this will be the back around the top, and then we're actually going to try using that as the top. The floor we're going to modify a little bit, but it'll basically be a big piece of plywood. And uh, our goal is so this cut sheet. Our goal is so my son came up with this idea. We're going to cut it about like that, and then we're going to stick this piece to here and uh, flip it over and we think we're going to be able to get actually a full length um, racing simulator to this so um, I'm going to probably speed up the video as I make the cuts and then we'll go back to assembling all together all right thanks for coming back Another video here on uh, Bearded Garage. Uh, we're gonna finish up the racing simulator, at least the, the last pieces that, um, that you're probably gonna care about that we're building. Uh, this is actually the monitor stand. We gotta make something a little bit custom since we have three monitors and I don't wanna buy something. So uh, here's what I'm gonna be trying. I got these uh, Samsung monitors or 28 inch 4K monitors I picked up on uh, online from a couple of different guys. Uh, found three identical ones. Um, what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to take a piece of plywood. I'm going to mount it to the back of the monitor, of course, uh, across the holes. Um, I am going to take one of these, I think it's called a floor flange. Floor flange is going to screw into the wood. Uh, from there, I am going to come out with some three quarter inch black pipe. Uh, why three quarter inch, you ask? It's probably a little bit overkill, but um, it is. But I also have uh, two or three uh, extra eight foot lengths of it that um, just from from putting all the gas in from the building here so um, I have a lot of extra spare pieces laying around so I can I can do it pretty easy um, 
uh, from there, we're actually gonna tee it off, right? And then that tee is gonna go out to a couple of legs to hold the monitor up. Um, and if everything works out all right, we might actually 45 around the corner and put another monitor right up around the side of it. So give you a real quick crappy picture of what that might look like. Not sure that makes any sense to you guys, but uh, floor flange pipe tees at the top. We're gonna have two mounts just because I want it to be a little bit more stable. T in the center going out to the center of the back of the monitor. Hopefully that's gonna work. We're gonna give it a shot. Uh, the simulator's getting close to done. Pretty soon here we'll be, uh, we'll be playing some video games. All right. All right, so here is what the monitor mount is gonna look like. Unfortunately, I think we've run into a slight problem here. Uh, once we actually put and extend this out for another monitor, I think the weight is too much on uh, on these and it's gonna just tip over the leverage and the weight of the monitors. Uh, they're not heavy, but it's probably too much. So unfortunately, uh, we're going back to the drawing board, uh, which probably means um, a T here. Uh, angled down at a 45 degree angle and then probably uh, some some plates down here and, uh, and a 45 degree connection something like that uh, so we can so we can actually have this thing better supported I don't want these monitors uh, being that they're 4k I don't want them all just falling over all right that's uh I guess we'll just uh, try putting this all back together Hey, it's a walkthrough of the uh, racing simulator and what we actually built. All right, so let's take a look at everything here. Um, as you can probably see, we have three monitors. We're running a set of Corsa. We got a set of uh, Logitech pedals, um, as well as a Logitech steering wheel. All right, um, we have this entire, uh, I guess it's a custom wooden box uh, this year is a uh, Volkswagen seat that we uh, we pulled out of uh, 2014 Volkswagen CC. Uh, up here is our custom monitor mount, which uh, we've done a couple different modifications to, as you can probably see. Um, so uh, in order to make it stable and actually have three, um, three mounts on the base, um, that's what we got here. And then, um, and of course we got some little bit of painting to do here to make it all look nice and pretty. Um, a great thing about this and the seat is the seat is actually fully adjustable. We wired everything in with a um, with a, uh, a 20 amp um, uh, 12 volt charger, which is actually a power supply. So it's actually kind of nice. So um, it works. Everything is actually pretty nice. So uh, maybe the next video will actually show something quick about actually driving. All right. Um, that is about it. We've got uh, a set of Corsa running here, and uh, it's one of the Steam games. And it looks like we now have a racing simulator. Obviously, <clears throat> computer's not in yet. Got to put that up in the front case here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's got to go up in the front here, um, and get to clean up all the wires. Uh, didn't want to put it all in there until we actually figured out whether or not this damn thing works. So um, spent about uh, an hour playing, my son and I, and now it looks like she's good to go. So uh, we'll clean it all up and then we're done. Now we're checking out what this thing actually looks like. Unfortunately, you can't hear the sound right now, but you get the idea of what a racing simulator is like. This is the... Maiden Voyage.